Okay, so here it is. Welcome everybody. This video here today will be a sort of continuation of this video here that I made 10 months ago. This video today is a video that I've been wanting to make for a couple months and today I finally said, you know, I gotta do it. Uh, and that has to do with jeans. So if you saw this video, you're very likely to be interested in it. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I have a list of jeans here, all these here that I've been researching over the last couple couple months um all these here i got from one website well most of them this this is a scientific study but yeah all these here i got from a website which i will link down below so you guys can go check it out yourself um but yeah so i'm gonna go one by one give my results and kind of explain what each gene is these are all genes for athletic performance or bodybuilding or you know some type of athletic sport so the first one here is the agt gene and this is a screenshot of the website that i'm that i told you guys about this here is my raw data and these are my results so what we have here is the agt gene this is a gene um so it helps control blood pressure and electrolyte balance in the body it's been associated with athletic performance, which codes for protein angiotensin. Yeah, I don't know how to say that. <laughs> but yeah, so like, let's see here. These are studies, you know, all this is backed up by science. Shows a study that the C allele of this gene overrepresented power athletes. So it's a power gene. So the CC genotype, of course, three three times more often in power athletes and endurance athletes. Yeah, in 12 week study for the G allele, better performance increases in power moves. <clears throat> and so it's, it's interesting because, I mean, I got one of each, I got A and G. Um, so C here is actually A. I believe so because I'm only seeing G and C. This is G and A. But yeah, I have G and A, so slightly higher risk of high blood pressure, but it's more geared towards power athletics. Now, if you have two two copies of this gene, which would be GG, that's increased this right here, that word, but you have a higher increase risk of high blood pressure, so it's a trade-off. Um, but yeah, that one, I guess, would be even more better for power athletes. Mine's right in the middle. So yeah, this one here, as you can see, AG, AG. Uh, let's go to the next one. So the next one is the IL-6 gene. Uh, this one's kind of hard to see. It's kind of blurry, but as you can read there, it's uh, very important for the inflammatory system in the body the immune response um it helps repair muscle after high intensity exercises if you have this gene it seems to be an advantage for building muscle through exercise because it limits inflammation so yeah once again studies um the GLA was found to be associated with elite power athletes when compared with group of non-athletes or with endurance athletes. So the G allele. So what you want here is GG because it's increased, more likely to be a power athlete. What is mine? Mine is GG. So yeah, check yours out. Uh, it's right here. 180.0795. One eighty zero seven nine five. This was a IL six gene. Let's move on to the next one. Myostatin. Uh, that's my my last video was about that. I'm you know I'm not gonna do that again. This is an OS three gene. Uh, so if you can read here, um, 
me see how could I put this into so it's very important for muscle metabolism and it controls skeletal muscle function and structure. It's very important for vascular function in the muscles. As you can see here on the top, blood vessels. Oh, for delivering oxygen to the muscles, it seems as if. And what you want here, you want increase ENOS. So you would be TT, more common in its elite elite athletes both endurance and power what is yeah mine's tt um yeah so what this is here is um it's it's, it's both for endurance and power so i mean that's the good thing i guess um a little bit of both i'm guessing it's endurance because of the oxygen aspect uh with the blood blood vessels and oxygen towards muscles so that's that's amazing so yeah check yours out i'm um, tt this is the nos3 gene let's move on to the next one uh it's gonna be this one ampd1 this is this one here ampd1 okay i remember this one so this one's um it's exp it has to do with fast twitch muscle fibers and uh, if i remember this one yeah correctly decreases um your chance to get <gasps> excuse me Decreases your chance to get very sore after a hard workout, which is very true. I find it extremely hard to get sore, which makes me work out even harder because I want to be sore. I like to think that it gives me gains, but I guess it doesn't matter. So, yeah, let's see if anything else. Okay, so this is a very rare gene. 11% of Caucasians carry one copy of this gene. About 2% carry two copies of the variant which eliminate AMPD function altogether, which means you pretty much don't even get sore at all, which is fucking insane. Um, moreover, the frequency varies in other populations with about 1% of Africans carrying one copy of the variant and less than 1% of Asians carrying the variant. So this is specifically for people of Caucasian ethnicity origin more so as you can see it is extremely rare in africans and even slightly more so rare in asians so yeah and then again once again these are all studies um what you want is this one the gg so associate gg associated with improvements in personal time ironman endurance athletes so it's good for endurance uh a i think a no 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 we don't want to read that but so yeah, basically this is like a sore gene. And what you want is GG. Two copies of GG will eliminate it all together. Oh, fuck. Uh, so yeah, I got GG for the AMPD1. Check yours out, see what you get. Um. So yeah, this was a round of this, AMPD1, which I guess you could say is a soreness gene, which is very true. I don't get sore for shit. Just at first and after, it's like I don't even get sore. Over to the next one. Uh, this is about twitch fibers. That wasn't my last video. I'm not going to do that one. Testosterone levels. This was just one study. I remember seeing another study that was very good. It might have been a different gene than this one. I'm not entirely sure. But for today, I'm going to do this one. So this one here has to do with the gene RS6258. As you can see here, um, I'm not a genotype for this one, so I can't do this one, but I can do this one as of right now. So as you can see here, RS6258. Now, what they found in the study was that TT was not even found at all. And if it was found, that's bad because <laughs> that's the worst one. What you want to have is CC. Uh, but even then, CT, I mean, like, let's look at testosterone. Now, these are averages, of course. Uh, so the average here was 358 for CT. For CC, the average was a little over 100 more plus at 474. And if you look at all these here, all the good stuff is going to be elevated as well. So, oh, I got a notification. But yeah, all this here on this side is going to be more elevated. So what you want here is CC for RS258. 
RS258CC. So this is a scientific study done on people for gene with testosterone. Now, this might not 100% be proven, but you know, it's cool to mention it, I guess. Okay, so next over. Uh, okay, so I think I'm gonna do this. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, cool. <clears throat> so this is a picture I screenshotted from a Reddit post. Um, it's genes for combat sports. I think these have to do on a mental aspect. They're not really like the genes before, which were on a genetic aspect. This is going to be more of a mental aspect for all of these here. So for this one here, I have... I have a website for this one here. Um, this is the warrior or worrying gene here. What you want is the double G, uh, which is this one right here. So yeah, what you want is G. It's, it's the warrior versus warrior gene. So what this means is how do you react in a situation where you need to react? Are you a warrior and you take control and you don't get nervous? And you don't hesitate or do you hesitate and do you worry so yeah you want gg and here it breaks down the science of it this is the science of why um lower dopamine levels that really has to do with it you know um higher pain threshold you can handle stress better um yeah i mean this is cool um if you guys know 3d alpha he made an entire video on this gene right here these two genes um you guys can check it out me myself i'm gg it's cool not crazy uh so yeah i'm um before i cover these two i want to cover this one here this is an optimistic gene this is this is one for fun this has nothing to do with sports but uh, it's more it's more about like mental health um like here is this gene and it's about well you're pretty much a fucking psychopath you like empathy and you're very negative and you give up or are you optimistic and you show empathy and you handle stress well so your life will be better just thought i'd throw that in there um yeah, as you can see people with this uh genotype there's less likely to feel lonely and low rates of autism, more empathy, more likely to be better, parents, just, yeah, it's cool. I just threw it in there. Check yours out if you're interested. Um, a hungover gene? Yeah, I guess I'll go over it. Uh, when I drink, I get really bad hungovers, and maybe this gene here explains why. Two times severe risk of alcohol withdrawal. Which is very true for me, CC, CC, makes a lot of sense. All right, so, yeah, let's go to this one. This one was the warrior or warrior gene. We covered that already. I'm going to do this one here. Uh, I'm going to do these two, and then I have one last gene, which is for bodybuilding. Uh, 4680. Let's go to my raw data, 4680, right? Um, GG, 4680, what you want is GG. I don't, I didn't even research this one. I'm not going to lie, but it's for combat sports. Put it in the comments if you guys want. Oh, that is fucking long. 11568. 11568. 11568817. I'm not really sure what this is. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I think I do, but not off the top of my mind. But you want CC. And what we have is C. So, yeah. Then here's pretty cool. It's population frequency. Um. This one's highest in East Asians, highest in Africans and East Asians. 
uh, highest in Europeans and South Asians. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, let's go on to uh, the last one, which was this one. It was a scientific study for the ACE gene, which is 4680. Yeah, 40. What? Hold on. Am I tripping? Oh, no, it's this one. And I got this gene from this guy on Reddit. Uh, what you want is the GG because that's the DD version of the ACE gene. Um, ACE plays a role in muscle building, which we'll see right now. Let me copy this over. Oh, fuck. Uh, copy, let's paste it here. And let's see what we get, GG. Okay, now as I was saying, as I was explaining, scientific study done in 2000. Um, this whole study has to do with the acnin gene and its association with the ACE gene in skiers. Um, but I thought this specific, uh, this specific section here pretty much sums it all up. You know, I'm not gonna read the whole fucking thing. This pretty much sums it up. And what it says here, associated larger gain in muscle strength and hypertrophy, hydro, hold on, hold on, hypertrophy after resistance training with a D allele of the ACE gene and their study. So muscle strength, especially upper body strength, plays an important role in addition to endurance capacity and competitive cross country skiing. Um, so yeah, the, the DLEO is muscle strength and hypertrophy after resistance training. So yeah, um, that's really it. Um, maybe I'll do a different video in the future once I do much more research on much more other genes. Uh, if y'all know any, throw them at me. It's fucking insane because every single gene I come across for athletic performance, I have the best one. So it's like, man, I need to get into sports or some shit. But yeah, it was, I just want to make this quick video. Not really quick. It's, it's going on 18 minutes, but yeah, I'm going to cut it here. Please comment something interesting and I'll see y'all soon.